Mm, I can't see. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are on, on the, the off-ramp. Ramp. And we are traveling the Gaspe Bay region in Quebec. And it is absolutely beautiful. If you ever have a chance, travel the 132 over... Uh, all the way around. All the way around. All the way around the point of Gaspe. It is absolutely beautiful. Google, t Google will tell you to take many roads off of that. <laughs> yeah. But we uh, tro drove through so many villages, thro through uh, so many... Um, yeah, beautiful little, little towns. Co yeah, little towns on the coves. Yeah. So join us as we show you some of the beautiful views here on the Gas Bay. That's right. No, it's wrong. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's your typical. I know. <laughs> Leaving the Quebec City area um, early one morning, we headed off to Ramouski, Gas Bay, and Miramichi. And in total, we drove about 1,200 kilometers over three days and it was uh, not enough time if you're going to do this route take your time and uh, a lot slower than what we did we got to stop at this beautiful little roadside park overlooking the st lawrence seaway taking the 132 With the beautiful hills in the background and just a beautiful ride down the road lots of beautiful farms Rolling hills. We found this nice little campsite, the lighthouse in the background, and right on the St. Lawrence Seaway, and all of a sudden we've got people everywhere. <laughs> There's a couple of vans on that side. There's a camp right in front of us. This place is packed. So they say there's room for six to 15 campsites to this location, and any size of RV can fit. But by the time we were said and done for this evening, I bet you there was close to 75 units parked on this site. It's a gravel lot built out on a pier and it's in a national park and camping is for free up to 24 hours. And it's a cold day on the St. Lawrence Seaway. Well, we had a good night in Ramuski last night. Uh, Camping in a spot where we didn't even think we'd be able to camp. <laughs> well, we ended up at a museum for a, what was that, a That's submarine a and a lighthouse. And so it was kind of a combination of museums there to stop at. But as we're driving on this highway, what number is it again, Wade? So we're on the 132 driving along the St. Lawrence Seaway. And we're choosing not to take um, the Trans Canada. We wanted to drive along the St. Lawrence Seaway. We're getting, we're going to uh, Gas Bay. Correct. Lots of little sea seaside cottages. Oh, these are bigger than the ones we saw just down the road. Yeah. These are quite nice. Just been fun looking at. 
um, the colors and the sea and ah, it's just been a great drive. We are sure appreciating all of the stops that we are finding here along Route 132 heading towards Gas. It has given us so many opportunities just to see the beautiful landscapes and the towns below us. And here's just another beautiful little town in front of us with a tall church steeple in the background. Eighteen thirty. We're at a lighthouse that's just on the let me pull up this the north side of the tip. And we'll be crossing over to get to this town or village of Gaspe. Beautiful. Look at the brick on that. I don't know if you can see the brick. Another three hour drive, or at least that's what Google tells us, is going to turn into probably a five, maybe even six hour drive as we pull over. Everywhere that says there's a viewpoint or a pullover point, we are taking advantage of these great views. Here we're seeing the tide go out. That's a walking bridge up there. You've seen people going across there, and even kids in the water. And uh, Wade always has to skip rocks when we stop by water. Whoa, that's a good one. And we're in the first sea rock area. I feel like the traffic is getting a little busier this morning. I don't know, maybe that's my imagination. But the Percy Rock area is definitely just popular. We are in the Parse Rock region and this is a huge limestone formation that we've come to see. We learned about it in elementary school, I'm sure, but it's known for its large eye in the middle of this massive rock. And the town and the rock and everything is a great attraction and a place to visit. In fact, during low tide, you can even walk from the mainland to the rock along the ocean floor. Now there are warnings about rocks falling off of the rock, so I guess it's at your own risk.
This is a busy restaurant area, a busy town, and definitely a tourist destination. So we did manage to find parking and be able to walk over to the pier to see the rock, Pierce Rock, from another point of view. And in fact, you can take a boat and be a tourist and take a ride right up to the rock. We have come to the end of our trip on 132, our Quebec highway that's taken us around Gaspé and wow, and I suspect now we're traveling out of Quebec and into New Brunswick. Or we're very close to the New Brunswick border and uh, this becomes the official end of that route. Is this it? We're in New Brunswick? Going into. Yep. Oh, looks like we're coming into some mountains here. At least. More than we were just in. In 500 meters, turn left onto Roseberry Street. With some research done ahead of time on I Overlander, we were able to find some free camping right on the river at Ritchie Wharf Park here in Miramichi. It was a great boondocking site, and there were other RVers around us to keep us company. Well, we had a long drive today from Gas Bay, and we made it to Miramichi. It was a bit of a drive with lots of stops. Yeah, lots of stops, but it was a beautiful drive, just absolutely yeah. gorgeous. But we needed something to eat. We we're dry camping in a park nearby here, and we found this place called Aperos Mobile Kitchen. And beer gardens. And beer gardens, you say, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, okay, so Lorena's having... I'm gonna do fish and chips. Fish and chips. Batter is made from scratch here. And I'm having the uh, Baja fish tacos, and it's fresh fish, apparently from this area. So, we'll yeah. find out. But you order there, and there is the chef's kitchen right there. And we are in downtown Miramichi. There's somewhere in Miramichi. Let's we'll see if we can find our way back to the van later on. We've done some extra walking around. Dinner has happened. We're all fed up. So we'll walk back to the park. Fed up is what you said? I'm fed up. I got lots of food in me. <laughs> oh, I dripped on. Yeah, the fish and chips were excellent. Now to find our way back. Oh, yeah, that's easy. We'll cut across here. That way? Well, we'll cut across here this time. As we're walking back to our vehicle in the park, we decided to take a walk along the boardwalk inside the park. And towards some live music. And towards some live music. Saw some guys fishing a little bit earlier. And the park is a little busy tonight. They have a, some kind of music happening at the park. Let's go check it out. It's just a, just a good evening. Comfortable temperature, 19 degrees Celsius. <laughs> this trip has been not all about, but has been quite a bit about finding lower cost or free camping sites. And uh, here we are in Miramichi, New Brunswick Park next to the river. Beautiful site. There's two campers here last night. There's a park just down the road. But these are free sites that we have found and we can park and spend the night. And if you use the iOverlander app, that is one of the apps that can help you. There's a, there's a number of apps that can help you, but iOverlander works on iPhone and on Android. And it helps with finding places to stay. In fact, we looked up, uh, we looked up sewer dumping stations as well. 
and found a nice sewer dumping station uh, at a Petrocan gas station uh, on our way to Halifax this morning. So we'll be making a stop there as well too. So good morning from Miramichi, New Brunswick. Well, when you're on the road and not staying in campgrounds all the time, you gotta find other places to do the stinky slinky job. And so as Wade gets set up to do that, we just watched another guy just spill and make a mess on this space when it was a perfectly dry spot. Oh well, everyone's in a learning stage and when, when it comes to this process. So, so far it's been pretty easy to find places to do this on the road. I'm gonna put a stone on top. Yeah, I don't think those stones would do it. On goes the foot to keep it from popping up. And I'll go and do the inside jobs, and then we're on the road. Well, due to our restricted timeline because of meeting up with family in our time that we were going to be away, we knew that we weren't spending the time that we should or could here on the peninsula. I would suggest taking more time. I know we've missed stuff. What we were so pleasantly surprised with the views and the things that we could see and experience in the short time that we were there. We were able to mooch dock near Quebec City, but I would suggest to you to book your campsites ahead of time. We did do some boondocking, but it's not easy to do, at least in this area. We're so thankful for those of you that follow along. Leave a comment, we love that. Follow our channel, tell us where you stop on this journey. Now, we are getting ready to head to Nova Scotia and we're spending some time with family there, but our plans seem to change from time to time. They so sure do. We need to hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.